A bone fracture is a condition in which there is a partial or complete break in the continuity of a bone. They can be categorized into displaced fracture. The bone breaks into two or more pieces and moves out of alignment. Non-displaced fracture. The bone breaks but does not move out of alignment. Closed fracture. The skin is not broken in it. An open fracture. The bone has broken through the skin. There are some common fracture patterns shown in this video. First, the avulsion fracture. A muscle or ligament pulls on the bone, fracturing it. An avulsion act fracture is an injury to the bone in the location where a tendon or ligament attaches to the bone. When an avulsion fracture occurs, the tendon or ligament pulls off a piece of the bone. An avulsion fracture are more common in children than in adults. Green stick fracture. Exclusive to children, the bone partially fractures on one side but does not break completely because the rest of the bone can bend. A child's soft bones may not break when dealt a significant force causing the bone to bend. Next, the transverse fracture. When the fracture line is perpendicular to the shaft or long part of the bone, this typically occurs when a blow transmits a large amount of force directly perpendicular to the bone. The fracture involves the cortex circumferentially and there may be displacement. Next, the segmental fracture. It's a fracture composed of at least two fracture lines that together isolate a segment of bone. Usually, a portion of diaphysis of a long bone is involved. It is frequently associated with high energy mechanism and devascularization of the segmental fracture fragment or fragments. Meaning these injuries are associated with increased morbidi morbidity and long term complications such as delayed union, non-union and or infection. Proposed causes are precarious blood supply of intermediate fragment and often severely damaged surrounding soft tissue. Next is the oblique fracture. When the break is on an angle through the bone, a sharp blow that comes from an angle that is above or below may cause oblique fractures. Oblique fractures are prone to cause laceration of the skin by their sharp extremities, rendering the fracture compound. Next, the spiral fracture. It occurs when torsion or rotational force is applied along the axis of a long bone such as the femur, tibia, fibula, particularly when the body is in motion while one extremity is planted. In a spiral fracture, the broken bone resembles a corkscrew or winding staircase because the break happens diagonally across a bone. In preschool age, it is referred to as toddler's fracture, which is a common sign of physical abuse caused by jogging or forceful twisting of a limb. A video exclusively describing only the fa spiral fracture is posted on the channel. Next, going on to the comminuted fracture. Comminuted fracture is characterized by the breaking of a bone into several small pieces and is the result of high velocity injuries such as car accidents, falls from a high height or high injury, high energy injuries with tissue loss such as a gunshot injury. Next going on to the longitudinal or linear fracture. A fracture that extends over the part of the entire length of a bone it may be caused by trauma, twisting due to muscle spasm or indirect, indirect loss of leverage.